Okay, I'm finally live. How is everyone doing? If you're tuning in, say hi. Hi to everyone who's joining the live if you're here. Um, if you join later, just leave a comment down below. Um, but today is is quite different. I'm outside and uh, it feels good outside today. Not too chilly, you know, just have on my little hoodie if you haven't gotten one. You can order yours. <laughs> but anyway, today, um, I kind of want to talk about how we can build our red blood cells. Um, and most of the time, it's simple things that we can do to keep our red blood cells up. And I hope you guys can help hear me because it's like a little windy out here just a little bit so I hope you can hear me but um how to build your red blood cells now something I want to talk about is chlorophyll and our blood your hemoglobin right so chlorophyll and our blood hemoglobin has basically similar structures right now when you think about chlorophyll and then you think about you know hemoglobin our blood our blood supplies us with the nutrients and oxygen that we need so as chlorophyll you know provide the plants with this energy and things like that that it needs it kind of works the same way but when we consume plants plants have chlorophyll in them they help our body to rebuild our red blood cells so when I say that the structure of um, hemoglobin and chlorophyll are similar they really are there are four elements um, that is structured around iron in our blood and those things are hydrogen nitrogen um, carbon and oxygen now those same four elements are also structured around magnesium which is found in chlorophyll and so this is what makes it so 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 similar now the difference is, is you know our blood our hemoglobin has iron and those plants the chlorophyll has magnesium and what do magnesium do for our blood it helps to uh, build your red, your red blood cell count and also um, helps you to carry oxygen helps your blood to carry that oxygen from your lungs to the other part of your tissues that you need so this is why it is um, very very important that you consume these plants you consume vegetables you consume fruits because um, they have these elements that you need to rebuild your red blood cell. Hey Alexis, how you doing today? Happy holidays to you. So, you know, these things are um, really important. A lot of us, we go on in life and we consume all of these acid foods and we never stop to think like, um, well, I'm feeling sick. I go to the doctor. My iron is low. I'm anemic. I'm constantly um, feeling this way. I'm constantly feeling fatigued and, and weak and things like that. What can I do to, um, you know, fix this, essentially? And sometimes it's just very, very simple. The simplest things in life can be just in front of us, and we never stop to think wow it was that easy you know for me to do something that simple that didn't um 
basically cost me an arm and a leg. And now I feel better or I can live a, a better life or a healthier life. But uh, this, this video is very quick. I just wanted to come up here and talk about that. Um, so if you're a person who is struggling to keep your red blood cell count up, you just need to consume more vegetables that have chlorophyll because chlorophyll has magnesium and the chlorophyll again is similar to the same the structure of your blood with those four elements that we talked about hydrogen nitrogen carbon and oxygen they is that is what helps you uh, build your red blood cell count so if you guys have any questions or remarks you can leave them down below if you're watching this late um, you can still leave me a comment and you can also inbox me too so uh, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today and another thing I kind of want to mention um, is something that kind of bothers me about you know our people in general you know we perish because we have a lack of knowledge and you know if people don't have that knowledge then they just don't know but when you have someone giving you that knowledge and you can't really um, say that the evidence of it is wrong or anything like that um, and you refuse to take that knowledge and apply it to your life for a better outcome, then you perish. You know, you have people out here helping you, telling you the right things to do, the right things to eat, how you can get on a um, healthier path of living to create a longevity in your life. And so that you can feel better and do things that you probably weren't able to do before and um, it's imperative that you take the knowledge that people are giving you out here so that you can apply it to your life and essentially become a better person a healthier person in your mind your body and your spirit spirit so take the knowledge that people is giving you when it comes to your health or anything else in life actually and apply it and make those changes and then you won't find yourself going in a circle of a, a unending path of insanity um, you can actually see results so that's all I want to talk to you guys about you can also share this video with others as well all right.